Okay, so now I'm going to talk about special populations in relation to the session that we had just completed with my client Jenny Mara and what I might have done differently. In relation to hypertension, if my client had come to me at the beginning of the program and said that she had hypertension, um, obviously I would ensure that she had a clearance from her allied health professional and I would have an idea of what she was able to do and not do in relation to exercise. Hypertension is, um, is, is clearly a high blood pressure. This can be caused by dietary, um, uh, it can be caused by obesity, it can be caused by hereditary issues and issues with the liver or kidneys. What I would have done differently in the session with Jenny um, after having a clearance by her allied health professional is I would have only asked her to do one set of the weights that we had used, especially during the, the single hand a single arm row and I would have got her to do about 10 reps and I would have used a lower weight. We used about a 5 kilo weight, I would have used started her on about a 2 kilo weight on that one. What I would have done is checked how she was going and I would only uh, increase her weights after a period of time of working with me and that she has progressed and that she has her hypertension under control. Um, in relation to the cardio uh, aspect of the training, I would have made sure that it was low to moderate. Um, I wouldn't have asked her to push herself on the, either the step-ups, the cycling or the treadmill because you would not want to push her blood pressure too high and get her um, heartbeat too high. Um, I wouldn't want to push her cardiovascular system to the point where she caused herself harm. With the step-ups, I would have gone not too fast. I would have asked her to go slower, used controlled movements, and I possibly would have made the step lower than what it was so that she didn't push herself too hard, and I would have monitored her heart rate and got her to check how she was going under the rate of perceived exertion. Um, in relation to the squat and the push-ups, um, I would have asked her maybe to do the squats on a fit ball, maybe not done full squats or squats under the pup, to where she felt comfortable and push-ups I might have asked her to do that um, either against a wall or just maintaining her on her knees and not progressing her to her toes until she was comfortable and able to do it um, safely. Um, in relation to what I would never do with a client with hypertension and what I would not have done with Jenny in that session, would I would not ask her to do any weight lifting with heavy weights and I would not get her to do any isometric exercises or excessive cardio, so I would not want to push her heart rate to the point where she's going to cause her, her cardiovascular system to struggle or to go into um, arrest. So that would be hypertension. If I had a client who had lower back pain in relation to the session that I completed, uh, lower back pain is generally caused by an injury to the ligaments, muscles and bones in and around the lumbar spine area. Uh, what I would have done differently in the session is I obviously would have got a uh, check that Jenny or my client had a clearance from her allied health professional to know where the damage was and to it's really important to know what she can and can't do and what movement or range of movement that she would have. The squat I would have asked her to do on a fit ball to take uh, the stress off the lower back. I would I'd not ask her to do um, only do partial squats, not full squats, and I would really make sure that she has really good posture in doing those squats so that she does not put any pressure on that back, would not use any weights. With a single arm row, I would have her seated so that she's not actually putting any weight on that lower back and she can actually do the movement the same as she would have, but it just would have been a lot um, more controlled. And push-ups, I would have had her doing them against the wall so that she's not putting any pressure or compression on that spine. In relation to cardio, I would have monitored her pain levels. I wouldn't ask her to complete the fast step ups, I would ask her to maintain slow controlled movements and again make the steps lower um, to make it more comfortable and I would always monitor her and ask her about how she's going and um, her exertion levels. I would work to strengthen her back muscles and her abdominal muscles as they're also really important to strengthen the back and work to really increase the range of movement and um, to reduce the pain, always working with um, what instructions you have from an allied health professional. In relation to lower back pain, I would never ask any client uh, to do any compression exercises or ask the client to pull or push any heavy objects or do any twisting motions in relation to the back so that they're not putting that pressure there. Um, and thirdly, we have the knee. Um, if I had a client, Jenny, or another client who came to me who said that she had a knee injury, um, generally knee injuries are injuries that are caused to the knee joints or the muscles and tendons um, 
uh, around the joint. What you would want to do eventually once you have permission from the allied health professional is start doing some knee flexion and knee extensions to try and strengthen um, and stretch the muscles and the knee itself so that you can start to strengthen it back up and get to full range of motion and full range of movement. What I would have done differently in the session that I had just completed with Jenny is obviously I would have had clearance from her allied health professional. I would have checked what they would have advised she could or could not do in relation to her injury um, and where the injury is, whether it's on the actual knee itself, whether it's on the muscles, the bone, the tendons, and what that actually means for her and what uh, she could or could not do. I would never ask her to do a full squat. Um, if she was able to complete exercise, she wouldn't do a partial squat or I wouldn't have used squats at all. I would have used a different exercise. Um, again, the row would have asked her to do a seated row. I would not want her to put pressure on knee when kneeling down and pulling up weights. So if she was to do a seated row, she could still do the same amount of weights, but she would be putting no pressure on that knee. Push-ups, again, I wouldn't get her to do them on her knees or her toes. I would ask her to do it against the wall. That's taking the pressure off that one point on her knee. Step-ups, again, I either would not use the step-ups, or if I was going to, I would use smaller movements, and I would use a lower um, platform. And I would use, I would not get her to get into an aerobic um, energy level on a step up because I think that would be putting too much pressure on those knees. So if that was the case, I would probably ask her to do a different or an alternate cardio, which you may want to put her on the row machine, which might be less pressure on those knees, or an elliptical machine as it um, takes the pressure off as well. Something I would never get my client to do as a knee injury, um, and I would not have used in that that previous session was I would not get to do any jumping um, or landing, no changing direction in the middle of exercises, no twisting, especially um, on that knee area, no high impact exercises, um, and I would definitely not get them to do any full range squats.